right, everybody, Kim Becker here with Mile High Huddle SI, and joining me is Chad Jensen to discuss the latest updates coming out of the Denver Broncos this Saturday afternoon, just two days after Jeff Driscoll tested positive for coronavirus. The league took all of the quarterbacks off of the board with the Saints in town. So as of now, Sunday's game is still on. But Chad, how do the Broncos approach this with the league and what can we expect to see out of Kendall Hinton? Well, if you're the Denver Broncos, hopefully you are going to call in every favor. If you're John Elway, if you're Joe Ellis, every favor that Roger Goodell or somebody in that league office might owe you because this is simply unfair, especially in the wake of how amenable the Broncos were and flexible to the NFL completely reshaping week five and week six when New England had a similar virus uh, crisis, I'll say. The Broncos rolled with the punches, even though it cost them their true buy and it forced them to reschedule, what was it, three games, I believe, on their remaining schedule. The Broncos laid down in front of that train, and the train rolled right over it. Now's the time for the NFL to scratch their back, so to speak. This is extremely unfortunate, and it's unfair, let's be honest, if the Denver Broncos are forced to play the 8-2 and two Saints with a quarterback who is a practice squad wide receiver and hasn't thrown a meaningful pass in a meaningful game since 2017, but if indeed, and all signs right now, as, as we sit down to record this conversation, are pointing to the NFL strong-arming the Broncos to play this game on Sunday, and if that's how it shakes out, it's going to be Kendall Hinton at quarterback. And what we know about this kid, he's an undrafted rookie out of Wake Forest. He spent his first three years at Wake Forest as a quarterback. He was the number 26. He was a three-star recruit coming out of high school, the number 26 dual-threat uh, quarterback in terms of rankings, according to rivals, signed with Wake Forest, and went on to have a lackluster career as a quarterback. He had about as many rushes as he did attempt passing attempts. By the time he got to his redshirt junior year, uh, Wake Forest said, look, let's, let's transition you to wide receiver. He ended up spending that season and then his redshirt senior year as a wideout and actually had some modest success as a wideout, entered the 2020 NFL draft as a wide receiver. But this is a guy that was at best a dual – He's, he's a running quarterback. That's the best way to put it. He's not an accomplished passer. So if you look at the Saints, who are a top five ranked defense in the NFL in almost every meaningful statistical category, this is a game that is frankly unsafe for the Denver Broncos. I mean, over the last few games, uh, there have been times when Drew Locke has thrown up a few what we might call hospital balls, right, where he kind of throws guys into some tough situations. They end up getting hit you know, quite hard by the opponents. That could only happen in spades when it comes to Kendall Hinton because he hasn't even practiced as a quarterback. I mean, this is happening the eve of the Denver Broncos being expected to play the Saints. So this is literally, I mean, you want to talk about an emergency situation, which is why for a league like the NFL that is so focused and intent on uh, quality, right, and and parity and, and competitiveness on the field, it doesn't make any sense for these two teams to play each other on Sunday I'm still holding out hope that the NFL will get wise and say, look, we're going to go ahead and reschedule this. It's been done for the Patriots. It's been done for the Titans. It's been done for the Bills. And most recently for the Baltimore Ravens with Lamar Jackson catching the bug as well. So it really is. We're, we're in upside down world. The, the craziness of 2020 continues. We can only hope that if the Denver Broncos do have to play this game, nobody gets hurt. I mean, talk about a double standard. I hate to sit here and laugh, but it just feels like it's, we're in this imaginary world, like you said, like it's not real. I can't imagine this game actually going on. And I can't imagine what is going through Kendall Hinton's head right now. So hopefully that he has a good night's rest. All the best to him if this game goes on, of course. I mean, we always wish the best for these players coming into these emergency situations. But like you said, it's not fair. So let's hope that the best case scenario happens tomorrow, whatever that may be. Chad, thanks so much for hopping on with us tonight. You got it, Kim. And one last thing I want to say is, with the news that Kendall Hinton being expected to start tomorrow if the game happens, suddenly there are about four and a half million Broncos fans on the internet Googling Kendall Hinton's name. And it's it's just been really wild. I'm, I'm looking at our Google Analytics over here as the publisher of milehighhuddle.com, and it's just going crazy for Kendall Hinton because nobody knows who he is because he spent the first quarter of this season actually on the street after the Broncos cut him at the end of training camp. Then they brought him back, re-signed him to the practice squad where he has remained. So, Hopefully uh, the Broncos, the fans out there in Broncos country don't have to learn the hard way exactly what caliber of quarterback Kendall Hinton is because the NFL reschedules this game. But if not, 
it's going to be a wild ride and it's going to be really interesting to see how this thing unfolds. Gosh, entertaining nonetheless, hopefully in a good way. Chad, thanks so much for everything.